This video demonstrates how to use BMC SecOps Response Service to map server assets and vulnerabilities detected in a vulnerability scan to the servers and remediation content you are managing with endpoint managers, such as BMC Blade Logic Server Automation or SCCM. Before you can use SecOps Response to correct vulnerabilities detected in a scan, you must perform this mapping procedure. After you finish mapping, you can view the security and operator dashboards, which provide a global view of the vulnerabilities in your server environment. Using the operator dashboard, you can create remediation operations that correct vulnerabilities. First, let's import a scan file that has been exported from a vulnerability scanning product, such as Qualys, Nessus, or Rapid7. Select SecOps Response, Import, the process of importing a scan file also automatically maps assets in the scan file to servers managed with your endpoint manager. The mapping process attempts to match the IP address and DNS server of an asset to an IP address and DNS server of a managed server. In SecOps response, we refer to those managed servers as endpoints. For a select vendor, Choose the type of vulnerability management system used to create the scan file you want to import. For scan report, click Browse and navigate to a scan file you want to import. The file must be in XML format. Optionally, you can choose filters that are applied during the import but in this example, we accept the defaults. Click Import Scan. Confirm the import. To check the status of the import, click Activity Status. This window shows the status of long-running activities such as scan imports. If the import is still running, its status says in progress. After a couple minutes that file import completed successfully, now we can look at the assets that were mapped. Select SecOps Response, Assets, you can see assets that are mapped to servers on this page, but other assets that are not mapped. This lightning bolt symbol on a row indicates that the asset was auto-mapped to an endpoint. If there's an entry in the address column for a row, that means the asset is mapped. For assets that remain unmapped, you can perform a manual mapping procedure. However, in this video, we're just going to use what is auto-mapped. Now we're going to look at vulnerabilities. Select SecOps Response, Vulnerabilities. SecOps Response can automatically map vulnerabilities detected in a scan to patches that already exist in BladeLogic patch catalogs or software updates managed with SCCM. Matching is based on CVE numbers for BSA or bulletin IDs for SCCM. To automap vulnerabilities, click Automap. This little dialog gives you the results of the automap. For vulnerabilities that remain unmapped after auto-mapping, we can perform a manual mapping procedure. You match vulnerabilities to any type of content that can be used for remediation. Find a vulnerability that needs mapping and select Actions Map. You can define target rules that determine when you deploy remediation content to target servers. Target rules give you many configuration options. First, we select Use Target Rules, select All Targets, where any of the following criteria are true. For OS, enter text that identifies the OS type, such as Linux. Click Add Criteria. For OS Vendor, enter text that identifies the vendor. Those rules mean the content is deployed 
if the OS is Linux or the vendor is Red Hat. Now we want to find the remediation content using the search capability. Here I enter some text in the search box. and click search. Select the remediation package and click save. A message says the vulnerability was successfully mapped. The vulnerability page shows the remediation content that was selected and the remediation type. In this case, a script. You can repeat this manual mapping procedure to map additional vulnerabilities. When you've finished mapping the assets and vulnerabilities, you can use the security dashboard and the operator dashboard to analyze the vulnerabilities detected in a scan. Then you can use the operator dashboard to create a remediation operation that corrects vulnerabilities in your server environment. Another video describes that process.